V-63, Captain's Log, November 10th, 1940. We are about to engage the light cruisers Brilliant and Dartmouth and destroy our Akatis. We've been shadowing these cruisers for some time and confirmed that they are indeed alone. Our wolf pack of seven destroyers has less displacement combined, but far more firepower. For some reason, the British light cruisers have been built as glass cannons. Entire portions of the ship are either very poorly armored or not armored at all. It's almost like the English foolishly thought that we wouldn't shoot back. That we would observe their cruisers and decide that engaging them was unwise. This was a grave miscalculation on their part. We shall dance around their torpedoes and evade their gunfire while peppering them with our 5-inch guns. This is going to be a glorious fight. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 5 of the Destroyer Only Campaign where we are, well, we're doing a destroyer attack. Uh, we managed to sneak close to the enemy with our destroyers. Should we try to attack? Yes, of course. Of course. We have a lot of these guys and they have the Brilliant, the Dartmouth and the Akatis. Let's make sure that they reduce their light cruiser count. I know that the light cruisers are um, going to get more and more accurate, especially since, the well, as the war goes on, these light cruisers become more dangerous simply because the crews get more trained. That is really not something that you want to mess around with too long because it will eventually end you. The AI gets increasingly deadly. Fortunately for me, my destroyers also get more accurate. Um, and against these light cruisers, that is pretty problematic for said light cruisers. The light cruisers, however, are doing their level best to make my life very difficult with all manner of torpedoes. We're going to go there. You're going to go there. Fine. You're going to hunt down that guy. And we are going to blow some holes in the destroyer. Just need to make sure that we get this thing dodging. This thing dodging. See, this thing is already flooding, and so is that one. These light cruisers of theirs are pretty terrible. The 54 is hunting down the Akatis. And it's probably... Damn it. It's probably struggling with it. Look at the brilliant. Not so brilliant, though. 60% buoyancy currently in the Dartmouth. Not doing much better. Now, these are mostly um, the Fletcheresque destroyers, and with that, not particularly well versed for gunfighting. I mean, yes, they got eight 5-inch guns. They're capable of delivering quite a bit of damage, but when it comes to their ability to... Oh. Oops. Uh, when it comes to their ability to actually turn those turrets around, well, we tend to struggle a little bit. This is going to be a very brief encounter at this rate. Come on. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Split. You're going to go there. You're going to go... Ooh. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> that properly killed that ship. Okay. Torpedoes are here. We're fine. These destroyer ambushes, once you actually get close enough to the target and you get a very lightly skinned cruiser like this, they pick these things apart in a matter of minutes. Because this thing, this battle, we're currently passing the seven minute mark and in those seven minutes I have already destroyed two light cruisers. Akatis is out of torpedoes. That spread is going to be pretty useless to get an actual bit of damage in, but forces the ship back to the rest of my fleet. And that is where I want them to go. Because that means that they have almost no way of getting out of this alive. Normally their speed keeps them safe. Today, not so much. 254. They're burning all over. They've really lost more than 10% of their crew. Are these cramps? Yeah, they're cramped, so that hits them even harder. Less crew means less ability to control damage, such as currently dropping to 80%. So yeah, this thing is done. 
That's a very nice way of reducing the numbers of the British Navy, but so far, I've skewed away from encounters with heavier ships, battle cruisers and battleships particularly. We had that one encounter with the Repulse a few episodes ago, but ever since then, there was one encounter with the battle cruiser that I skipped because I didn't feel like I was going to be able to win that. Um, aside from that, I have not seen any of their big ships. See this one. I'm going to shy away from engaging the Rodney because I don't think I'll win that, even though my mission is to sink transports. But I found that sinking transports, it yields so few victory points that it's, oh, it's just not worth your time. It's just not worth your time. So we're going to wait for the new destroyers to whoa, <laughs> for the new destroyers to come out and to get a better battle. Uh, Finance-wise, we're dropping to 95% of transport capacity. That's not good. That's not good. Most of my fleet is out here. Yeah, I got the whole fleet of destroyers, the the suicide destroyers, if you will, coming out in three months. Can I retask some of these? Yeah, they're all just patiently sitting over there in the east where I really don't need them. I need them all here. This is where the encounters are going to take place, not over there in the east. Convoy. If this was five or six destroyers, I'd say yes. With just two destroyers, I'm going to pass. And over... Oh, this is more interesting. Six destroyers against the powerful and the Concord. Death by a thousand cuts. Or rather, a thousand five-inch shells. Whoa, we're pretty close. With these ambush things, you always have to kind of wait and see to what extent you're actually ambushing them. Because it's not always the type of ambush that you might think. Like, sometimes you start five, six, seven kilometers out. Sometimes you start 12 kilometers out, and that means trouble. We're first going to pick this light cruiser apart. And the V-58 is going to try and make a run at the heavy cruiser. This thing's already starting to wither down. I'm very hesitant to hit the avoid torpedoes button. Because I know just how terrible those things are. But it means I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful with these torpedoes and uh, the fairly unpredictable nature of how my destroyers move about. Concord, trained level of crew, mine is regular. Now I know that if I slow down, I'll get more accuracy. So there's no need to put that in the comments. The reason why I am not currently doing that is because for a destroyer, speed means survival. Speed is life. You want to be fast, you want to make your... Uh, you want to make yourself a very difficult target, otherwise you're dead. I have no idea why the V-52 suddenly decided to veer almost in the course of those torpedoes, just directly at it. Oh, speaking of... Yeah, that was a light cruiser torp. Shit. So I guess the run of the V-58 is done. On to a different one. The Concorde is getting slowly but steadily massacred. And that means we can move on to the heavy cruiser, but that... That's substantially more armor. Let's smoke you and you. Concord is flooded. Idiot. Uh, onto the heavy cruiser, the powerful. More flooding on the V-58. Seriously, the collision avoidance system lately has been fighting me more than usual. It's getting pretty annoying. Retreat. Not you. These things are doing 31 knots. I'm 6 knots faster, but they're going to make it very, very difficult to get close. Especially since their crews are also trained. Their accuracy on the 9 inch is 5... Sorry, 15%. Not 5%, 15%. Uh, we're going to aggressively launch the torpedoes, forcing that ship to turn and thus lose speed. No, you're going to retreat. See, I'm telling it to retreat, but it seems to still not quite understand what I'm telling it to do. Now, their damage 
is not substantial, but this is nice. Fire control damaged. Smoke up. Go on. Funnel damaged. It's going to hit their engine efficiency. Flooding. Impressive. Unexpected, but impressive. And the powerful might have a lot of guns. But the amount of damage that I'm putting out there with, I think, mostly HE is starting to add up. Keep at it. She's burning. I'll take a decent amount of damage to my destroyers, but so be it. And I just go aggressive. You're also going to go aggressive for a semi cross torp. Oh. That's a single launcher, is it not? Yeah, it's a single torpedo. They had underwater... Yeah, they have underwater torpedo launchers. That's what they're using. Now, the flooding is starting to add up, as well as their damage to their rudder. Making it more difficult for them to start getting out of the way of torpedoes, and hopefully pushing that extraordinarily good turning circle down quite a bit. Okay, we're going to switch to save... You already launched your torps, okay. At this angle, pretty good chance to pen. Let's go AP with the 43. Not a very good chance to pen. What's their speed? 22 knots. And slowing. Ooh. Smoke you up. No torps. Torpedo in the water, probably against the 63. Smoke. This thing is almost flooding out. 35%. 30%. She's seen the torps. And is dodging. But thereby opening herself up to fire from the 66 and the 52. Yeah, and we got one torpedo hit. Buoyancy is dropping to 6%. Holding at 6. Go on, boys. Work together. Torpedoes away from the 54. Means I don't want you to torp because we're done. Heavy cruiser destroyed. Nice. Whoops. Nice. I need these smaller encounters to eliminate the guys quickly and swiftly and make sure that I don't take too much damage in return. Leading to a ton of victory points and especially very little result for the British. Because yes, they damaged some of the destroyers, but overall it was not crippling. Convoy. Nope. Hmm. We're going to take apart another heavy cruiser. And interestingly, we finally get to see some more of the gunboat destroyers. Which, for some reason, seem to be pretty rare. I don't see a lot of them. But 5, 19, 22, and 11 are all gunboats. 60, 44, and 73 are not. Immediately incoming fire. That has to be from a transport. Because that heavy cruiser is reinforcing. It's not there yet, right? Or did I miss, misread that? Judging by the shell fire, that heavy cruiser is definitely here, though. Yep, that would be her. High explosive only. We need to close the distance quickly. Where is your... There's your protectees. Here. What's the weather? Oof. Not great. Okay. Um, objective first. Turn. Objective first. Eliminate the transport. Because we are here officially for 60 tonnage. 60% of tonnage of the whole enemy fleet. Right. So essentially nuke the transports. And the tonnage should take care of itself. 
warship. <laughs> I don't think so. No. Well, it's armed. I'll give you that. It probably has a three-incher on the bow and on the stern. But it's not a warship. I refuse to refer to that as a warship. Next target. This is one of those gunboat DDs. Triple fivers on the bows. A whole bunch of fivers amidships. And overall, very, very nice rate of fire. As this transport can probably attest to. Okay, that's two of your transports dead. I've achieved 66, sorry, 33% of my mission by eliminating two of their transports, but I would not be surprised at all if there are more of them out there. It's just that because of the weather, I can't see them. Zigzag a little. The more you maneuver, the more you throw off their torpedo, sorry, their, uh, their fire solution. They're taking a tiny bit of damage. Mostly from fires, though. That's good. Where's the rest of your group? Flooding? <laughs> we hit them so hard with high explosive on their stern that it broke open. <laughs> okay, that's good. That means it's easier to hunt these guys down. Smoke up. Undaunted. Well, I think you're about to meet your match in the form of seven destroyers. What were these guys like again? Oh yeah, all their nine inches on the stern, four inches there, two inches there. I'm oh, sorry, fours and, well, twos everywhere, essentially. So, if at all possible, do not approach to less than five kilometers, because you'll be very, very quickly ruined. That's a good lesson. Come on, Undaunted. 73 took a bit of a hit. She's probably going to have to relinquish her position as leader of the group. She's too slow. Can we flood her again, please? Go on. Yeah, this fire damage, it's not bad. Also, the superstructure's taking damage, that's good. Cramped ship. The more crew that they lose, the more that they lose control over their ship. Including damage control abilities. You're gonna go home. Making this a two-man group. This is gonna take a while. A little while later, we have the ship slowed down, thanks to flooding. Her engine, or sorry, her rudder's been destroyed. And this means that the V5 is capable of going broadside. Bringing all of her 21 inch, sorry, her 21 5 inch guns to bear against the target. And that looks like this when you see it at, well, at least at 5 times speed. Just a constant barrage of fire. And while the ship actually isn't doing that much damage, the fire damage is adding up because the Undaunted is almost constantly on fire and of the 2,000 damage that she took half of that was fire damage there goes an engine there goes a second engine we should be able to start getting slightly better pen chances well, we're not still still not at a great angle they constantly try to torp me, but so far they have been really unsuccessful at that. She's going full port turn. I'm not really sure why. Because there's not really anything that I'm currently threatening her with, at least not in the form of torpedoes. You guys can go armor piercing now. Because that might actually pen, causing flooding and slowing her down further. The 60 and the 44. Now, there is a vast difference between how much these destroyers have done in damage. The 60 has done 1,400. The 44, really only able to use her bow turrets, has been able to do 347. I think her accuracy leaves something to be desired. If you look at the V19, 1.5k, 3.1k, 2k, 
2.6k, that's the gunboat destroyers. So, if given enough time, they will murder you. But they do need that time. And so far, if I pick these small encounters, it's going to take me some time. But I will win the war. Come on, Undaunted, you're at 1% buoyancy. 0.3 and you're done. Good. So that's the mission complete. Two transports apparently only and a heavy cruiser. GG easy, ship sunk. I wonder how quickly the British are going to recognize that they probably are not going to win this war. Although, holy shit. Yeah, there's another percentage of my uh, transport cap down. And I'm minus 31 million. It's because probably a bunch of these are getting fixed up. But it's going to take me only a month, so it shouldn't be that bad. What's this convoy? No. No. It's again the Rodney, though. Oh, nice. Surprise strike. Our constant pressure in the enemy waters has paid off. We managed to gain numerical superiority in the area. I'd say so. Should we attack now? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. Eliminate the light cruiser and all her transports. And the slaughter may begin. It's the V-51, 45 and 5. 5 is the gunboat class. The transports are already bleeding like hell. Uh, this is the 53. That's a, a Fletcher. These are basically all Fletchers. With the exception of the 5 back there. Where's your light cruiser? There. Light cruiser's chilling in the back of the formation. I don't think that the merchantmen are going to really appreciate how well they're being protected. I.e. not at all. <laughs> Look at how quickly these things die. Nice. This is a sign of things to come for the light cruiser. What I still do not know is how much this actually impacts the British merchant fleet. Because you get some victory points for them. But I'm not sure if the British are now also starting to get a problem with their capability of transporting the stuff that they so need for their fleet. I don't know that. Anyway, the light cruiser is going, nope. <laughs> no, thank you. I am not interested in your fight. Well, that's too bad. Because it's happening. And we're going to hit you with a, light, uh, with a load of high explosive. And once you're slowed down... We're going to come alongside and either board you or just pen you with armor piercing and flood you out. Look at that. It's already taking a ton of damage. And this is just high explosive. It did seem to have launched a bunch of torpedoes at me. And here they are. That's not too bad. Perfectly manageable. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Okay, good. They're down 79%. Most of their modules, or the, the whole parts, have already taken a bunch of damage. They've scored zero damage. They actually ricocheted off of one of my ships with their ammunition. That's pretty sad. Switch to armor pierce. So we can probably just rip through this thing. Yeah, you're done. It's always at the end of the battle, or towards the point where you've already won, that the game goes, you can end the battle now. I don't know why. I don't want to. I want to wrap this thing up by eliminating the light cruiser, not by ending the battle and letting the light cruiser escape. Although the only reason why I would imagine that you want to do that is to, for example, have the fox survive the encounter and thereby being forced or forcing the British to fix it up. Maybe that's it. I suppose that would explain it. Now, all the armor piercing from this group is adding to the flooding and she's done. So, so far, um, engaging light ships and light, well, heavy cruisers seems to be the trick. I'm basically waiting for the rest of the, what is that? Sorry, um, basically waiting for the rest of those suicide destroyers to come off the slipways, which they now have. 
The 76 through the 91 are all ready. We're going to sea control them all. And they are mostly in the North Sea and the Baltics. Nope. That's too much firepower for three DDs to handle. I'm at a very mild plus 304,000. It's not too bad. 10 DDs here. Root? I think not. Let's get you guys moving. There's three of you here. I really hope that the Allies don't bomb Wilhelmshaven because that's going to cost a ton of damage. There. Looks like the Brits are building a whole bunch of new ships. Their power projection was 73,000, 74. It's now a little under that. We're looking at 70,700. And I can pick apart another convoy. I'm going to do this off camera because this is just another butchery of a light cruiser. It's not that interesting. And hopefully next episode we're going to do a bit more interesting fighting. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.